Okay, I'm going to show you how to install um, GIMP and modify the images so that you can put the two of them side by side. So I hope this um, works out, John, and you can follow it. Uh, I've already got GIMP installed here, so I'll just show you where to go for it in Internet Explorer. Just Google GIMP and there's the home page. Click on downloads over here. And then at the very top, it says download GIMP 2.6.11. And when you click on that, just go um, run. So once you've done that, it's installed on your computer. So open her up. And what you need to do is open up the two images that you have. So you sent me these guys that's one and file open this one okay so I've got two images here um, if I just go control and minus this will just make them a little bit smaller on the screen Okay, so what I want to do is this area here that the image kind of occupies is called the canvas. So I want to double the width of the canvas so I can put another picture in alongside. So if I go image menu, canvas size, uh, uncheck the link there. So I don't want the height to increase along with the width. Uh, I'm going to change this to percentage. So I can change that to 200%, and the height doesn't change. And I just go resize, new, resize. Okay, so now I've got this extra space off to my right hand side. And what I can do is click on this other image here, and on the right we have this palette that has our layers. So each layer for um, the images can be built up over here, but obviously with this one we've only got one layer. Um, and what we can do is click on that layer and drag it over into this image. Okay, and now what you see is on this image we have two layers. Um, the original image here and then the one that we just added in. So. I go to this tool here, the move tool, and while I'm on this top layer, I just click and drag. I can position this anywhere I want. If you hold down the shift key, kind of just locks it horizontally. Once I'm happy, I'll just leave it at that. And that puts the two images right beside each other. Um, if that's all you need to do, you could just go File, Save. The image should be exported before it can be saved as a JPEG. Da, 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 da. Cancel, what's that about? File, Save as. Let's see. We don't want to flatten it because we don't want to lose these layers. And it's selecting file title by extension, so it was a JPEG image when it opened up, so it thinks that you want to save it back as a JPEG. And JPEG images can't have layers inside them. What we want is this one. The GIMP, its own file format. What a shit name for an application. Anyway, uh, so just select GIMP. Um, Save in folder, John, that's what I was working in. And go save. Okay. So that XCF extension here is GIMP's own file format, but it's fuck all use if you want to print or put it onto the internet or anything like that. Um, so if you want to do anything with it, uh, you can just go to, 
and I don't know this application extremely well. Um, no, save as. And we can go down to JPEG image. And we just rename it. So side by side. Click save. You say flatten images. Quality. So if you do this, you can actually scale down the quality of the JPEG. So the smaller the quality number, uh, the smaller the file size. So 80, 60 to 80 is usually pretty good. Um, so. Um, and yeah, that's it. Um, if you want, you can add text by clicking the A over here. And maybe if you want some more space above here, what you could do is you could go image, canvas size, and unlink that. Percentage, say 120%. And down here, then you could go before it's very small. Jesus Christ, uh, what's happening there? Text long path size 18, so say 72. Um, 200. And we're going to move to it again. We can, again, the text has its own layer. So we can click on that and we can drag it around here. And we can just go edit, copy, edit, paste to get it. Floating collected, pasted layer. Hmm. Don't know what that's doing there, I don't know why it's selected. Just drag any layer you don't want down to the bin. Um, I'll just select the text layer here again, click and go after. Ah, for fuck's sake, what's going on? Um, and yeah, there you go. And I can just go file, save. Try. I'll save as. I was trying to save it as a JPEG again. It was the format that I want, XCF, because I want to keep all the layers. Go save. And that's it. Um, view. 
in the stars. Um, so yeah, there you go, John. Um, I hope that helps. And uh, yeah, talk to you soon. Any questions? Give me a shout.